In this video, I'm going to show you how we can arrive at the exponential distribution starting from a Poisson process. Now, a Poisson process, you can imagine it as a random variable x that is indexed by t, and it follows the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda t. So this, you can think of xt as modeling the no probability of the number of events occurring within a time period. So you can imagine a timeline starting from time 0, and then if t is equal to 1, then xt will model the number of events that occur within this time period. And then if t, time t, if t is 2, then it will model the number of events that occur within this time period. So it makes sense that this parameter keeps on increasing as t increases, because as time goes on, there's a greater chance of something happening within this time period. You can think of xt as something like modeling the number of phone calls you receive within two hours. Then as time goes on, this parameter becomes larger and larger, so you get a higher chance of something occurring within the time period. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can go from the Poisson process to a exponential distribution. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define the random variable capital T. Now capital T is going to represent the time point at which the first event occurs within the, ra the random Poisson process. So you can imagine a timeline starting from time 0, and let's say capital T is equal to small t. What this means is that at small t, starting from time 0, at small t, the first event finally occurs for the Poisson process. And so in order to find the distribution of capital T, we're going to take a look at this expression. We're going to consider the probability that capital T is smaller than or equal to small t. Now what this means is that we're want, we want to find the probability that something occurs within this time period over here, because t is going to be equal to small t if something occurs over here. So if we know that t is smaller than or equal to t, that means we're considering all the situations where something happens within time 0 to time t. And another way to rewrite this expression is to write this as the probability that xt is larger than 0. Now, don't for, forget that xt is actually the random variable for the Poisson process. So if xt, that means the number of events that occur within this time period, from 0 to time t, if xt is larger than 0, that means something did occur within this time period. And so this expression here is actually equivalent to requiring that capital T is being smaller than or equal to small t. And then in order to evaluate this expression, we can consider the complement. So we've got 1 minus the probability that xt is equal to 0. So the complement of being larger than 0 is just equal to 0. And so we know the, pro uh, the probability mass function of the Poisson process. It's just equal to the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda t. So we can actually rewrite this using the prob probability mass function of the Poisson process. So continuing on with the expression we're considering, we have 1 minus e to the power of negative lambda t, because this just follows the uh, Poisson distribution times lambda t to the power of 0 divided by 0 vectorial. And this entire thing is just equal to 1. So in the end, we know that the probability that t is smaller than or equal to small t is just equal to 1 minus e to the power of negative lambda t. And then if you take a look at this, this is actually just the cumulative distribution function of the random variable uh, capital T. So if we differentiate this expression over here, we just get back the probability distribution function. And then uh, on the right-hand side, we, uh, we differentiate this as well with respect to t. So we get negative, negative lambda e to the power of negative lambda t, just using the chain rule. So we get lambda times e to the power of negative lambda t. And so that's how we derive the probability distribution function of the random variable capital T. And you can see that we arrive at this expression, and this is exactly just the exponential distribution.